Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I want to share with you some of my go-tos when I'm dealing with pimples. Acne, blemishes, whatever you want to call them, I got you. So when dealing with pimples, normally you have the before, during and after phase, right? So when I feel a pimple coming up, I will use a few active ingredients and this has been my favourite since 2015. I, I believe this is my first ever acne product that I use to get rid of the pimples and stuff. This is the Different Gel Adapalene 0.1%. I use this as a spot treatment and put it over the places where I feel a pimple is coming up. Next, when I know a pimple is about to come up, and especially if it's not just like one pimple, if it's like a few in one area, I will use my go-to trusty glycolic acid by The Ordinary. Use any kind of glycolic acid or exfoliating acids that you like. I personally really like the glycolic acid by The Ordinary. It is super affordable and it works really well. It doesn't sting my face and it also ever so slightly hydrates it. This stuff contains Panax Ginseng Root Extract, if I'm not wrong. And I find that really interesting and also a bonus when you're dealing with acne prone troubled skin. Okay, next is a cult favourite. Doesn't really work for me, but I know a lot of people like it. And technically, if you look at the ingredients, it should help with your acne. And that is the Glow Recipes Watermelon Glow PHA BHA Pore Tight Toner. I've done a video on this and Unfortunately, it didn't really work for me. I felt like it didn't really help to remove the blackheads on my skin. It did kind of improve the appearance of textured skin and fade some hyperpigmentations. But it didn't really help with the acne. In fact, when I used it like over a period of one month, it kind of dried out my skin. But I may or may not have used it wrongly because I used it every single day. Also, that was also because I was trying to do an experiment to see whether this worked. And I'm not going to throw this away yet because I may or may not have used it wrongly. So I'm still going to use this like once a week. And yeah, even though it didn't really work for me then, it works for a lot of people and maybe you'll like this. So when I don't manage to kill a pimple before it surfaces or if it just suddenly pops up like that, what do I use? Again, my go-to is this Different Gel Adapalene 0.1%. This is seriously my go-to trusty acne problem solver. And also, I will exfoliate my face using this toner once a week when the pimple pops up. This helps to exfoliate the dead skin cells away and accelerate skin cell renewal. So when the pimple is gone, I am left with healthier, radiant, brighter looking skin. And I also realized that this stuff helps to get rid of the pimples quicker. When the pimple creeps up on you, I like when a pimple creeps up on me, I really love these hydrocolloid patches. I have used many packets, so far all from Cos RX because they're the most affordable and accessible pimple because they're the most affordable and accessible pimple patches. These help to act as a barrier between your skin and the external environment. For me right now where I stay, there's a lot of construction going on, so there's a lot of dust around in the air. These things also help to suck out the pus or the inflammatory exudate from your pimples. Sometimes, very rare, they don't really suck out. I don't know if it's because it's not ready, it's not ripe. But at the very least, they do help to flatten the pimple and reduce redness. Okay, next. Whilst using all these active ingredients and pimple patches, I think it's important to realize the importance of a healthy skin barrier. I also focus a lot on hydration and moisturizing my skin, which I think are the two essential components to having a healthy skin barrier. A lot of people, when they get pimples or acne, they straight away go and use their active ingredients like acids, retinols, what else? Whatever, whatever active pimple they deem is suitable and appropriate to help kill off the pimples. I, for me, love focusing on building my skin barrier because when your skin is happy, it naturally heals itself and actually it may do a better job than these active ingredients. So, 
my go to. Oh, give me a second. Oh, my go to products for building a healthy skin barrier is this. Naturi Hatomogi Skin Conditioner This stuff not only hydrates, it also calms and soothes your skin So I really think it's the perfect product for fighting your blemishes And as you can see, it's super well loved Another product I use to hydrate my skin is the Centella Asiatica Ampoule by Skin1004 I've talked about this before, this contains 100% Centella Asiatica Extract which helps to soothe, calm your skin However, I don't really see much calming soothing benefits from this. I do enjoy this product because it has a beautiful texture. It almost has like a fat water texture. It's so freaking beautiful. Look at this. It's so lightweight. Oh. And it spreads like a dream. Can you see? I really like this because it works well with all the products I've shown so far. It's not like an active ingredient where you have to use this and you can't use any other products. This works well with everything, it's everyone's best friend and yeah, I really like this for hydration purposes. Next, this has been my favourite moisturiser so far. I got it as a sample and I loved it so much that I got the whole full size bottle. This is the Birch Juice Moisturiser by Rowlet. It looks like this. This is the sample version of course. I love this so much. This has a very lightweight gel consistency. I really didn't expect much from this moisturizer. I have like dry to oily skin so sometimes when I want a little more oomph and moisturize my skin, I'll just put on a moisturizer. If not, my sunscreen is good enough. <laughs> But then I used this because I started using this because I wanted to finish using the samples I have at home. If not, there'll be a ton of samples waiting for me and it'll expire. So why not just use it, right? Can you see? Let me just. It has this really beautiful, like, water gel texture. And yeah, you can see that there are tiny little capsules inside, right? These capsules are what gives it its water bursting effect. It is super lightweight and every time there's this water bursting effect, it feels so cooling and nice on your skin. And as someone living in a hot, humid country, this water bursting lightweight texture moisturizer, it really helps to keep your skin hydrated and moisturized without feeling too greasy or heavy and suffocating. I truly, truly love this moisturizer. It absorbs really quickly into the skin. Okay, you see, it's almost like gone. It doesn't leave your skin looking greasy or glowy or anything. My glow all comes from the sunscreen, which I actually don't mind. Anyway, moving on to another moisturizer which I've discovered recently. This is from a brand that I don't think anyone has really talked about before. This is Vivid Glossy. It looks like this. This is their moisturizer. And this packaging really reminds me of the round lab packaging Hold on! Wait! <laughs> okay, honestly, their packaging gives me like round lab vibes, but I've never really compared them side by side. And now, seeing them side by side gives me. Wow! Like, the packaging is so similar and they give off like similar vibes also. Is this girl slash woman sitting in the woods near like a pond just like chilling feeling the breeze wow okay but however i want to talk about this moisturizer this has been my favorite moisturizer so far i i'm like so happy with this moisturizer that i got another tube i got another like full size moisturizer of this but then i saw this brand online and i looked at the ingredient list it seemed pretty solid and I wanted to give it a try because I don't want to just purchase from popular brands that are hyped. I also want to give smaller brands a chance. So when I saw this ingredient list, I was quite impressed actually. So I bought like two of these moisturizers even though I've never used it. But you know, I'm quite psyched when I see a good ingredient list. So when you open it up, it has this cover and it looks like... Oh, so scary. It looks like this. I've used quite a bit so far. 
This is also the Vivid Glossy's Birch Juice Moisturizer. So, let me just take a little bit out. This has a very silicone texture. It is... I used to like textures like this and I kind of still do. But if I were to compare like this and this, I would go with this because this has water bursting effect. It is lightweight and not too heavy. It's slightly thicker than this Round Labs moisturizer. But it's still quite lightweight and it has this dematicone silicone feel to it. So it feels like you're putting on like a primer instead of a moisturizer. And the good thing about this moisturizer, this Vivid Glossy Moisturizer, is that it kind of blurs your pores. It, it's, it very subtly blurs your pores. It's not very obvious. You can still see pores, but you look kind of better. <laughs> I believe that's all the products I use when I am dealing with pimples. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed filming it. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!